Hello all, it's the 15th of January 2016 and it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So here I am in the backyard orchard. Not particularly great weather today, sort of constant drizzle all day, so unable to do any sort of real gardening, but I thought I would uh, take the opportunity to show you one of the trees in the backyard orchard, and that is variety Concord. So it's a really nice sort of fruit, this one, a very sweet taste when it's mature, like green with like a sort of a red blush to it if it gets enough sunlight. Of course, uh, at this time of year, it won't look much. The leaves are off because it's a deciduous tree and it's in its period of dormancy, getting ready for hopefully good crops of pears. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to allow this to crop this year or whether I'm going to take the blossom off so it doesn't... Uh, crop to allow it to establish but uh, I will decide what to do with that at a later date. Now there's a little bit of a story behind this tree. It's not as sort of young as you think. It looks like a relatively young tree but it was in a, another garden, not in the best location so um, the person very kindly donated this to me and I now have it here so hopefully I'm going to be able to look after it and uh, sort of encourage it to form into a very good tree. So let's start at the beginning. So what you've got, as I stated, is variety pear concord, and that is a cross of the conference pear. You Most people know what they are. They're the ones you can buy in the supermarket quite readily. And Duendu Comis, and this was bred in 1977 at the East Morning Research Station here in the UK. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, nice, nice fruit, definitely. And it is self-fertile, so you will get some... You will get some pears, some fruit on its own pollen, but it will do best if you have a like a sort of another one in the pollination group C, either in the you know your garden or in the vicinity. But of course, the fact that you will get some fruit on its own pollen is a good one if you live in an area where there are no other pear trees in the same pollination group, and uh, you know you haven't got room or don't want to put one another one in your own garden. So it's a good variety for that reason. But it can it can be used to help well to cross pollinate other varieties in the B and C groups. So check them out if you can. So this is a sort of mid late fruiting variety, and the crops tend to be ready around sort of September time. It will depend on location. If you're in a very sunny location or it's up against a south facing wall or fence, then you'll be likely to get your crops a little bit uh, sooner, of course. If it's in a less ideal location, like in a less sunny or colder location, <clears throat> you may get them a little bit later, and it will depend on you know, what your climate is like where you live. If you live you know, somewhere in the northern part of the UK, or maybe you live in Scotland or somewhere like that, you'll probably get them a little bit later than you would, say, around here in the southeast, because uh, we do generally, as a rule, get the sort of warmest summers in the UK in the southeast, which is a thing that uh, I'm very grateful for around here. So this is on Quince C rootstock. Now, um, with regards to trees, most trees are grafted in order to sort of improve disease resistance, and ultimately a good thing is to limit the eventual size of the tree. <clears throat> there are many reasons for grafting. Um, you have to do your own research on rootstocks. But Quince C, this should produce sort of a tree under ideal conditions of two and a half to three meters tall. So you can see this is nowhere near that and it's been in the ground where it was before for four to five years. And it was, uh, wasn't a small tree before then. It's probably just over a meter tall now. So this is should have a lot more growth left in it. I certainly hope it has anyway. Now, most pear trees are grafted onto quince rootstocks. There are reasons for this, but uh, they do graft readily. A quince is a sort of another fruit that looks a bit like a pear, but larger. So I have videos, I believe, on quinces on my channel, so check them out if you're interested. So that's the Concord pear. Let's have a look at the tree. So this will leaf out in the spring. See that's a bit of last year's growth on there. And this too. Now I remember a few years ago this tree <coughs> excuse me, had a case of dieback which had to be cut, you know, cut off. Otherwise it would have eventually got down and killed the entire tree. So that didn't help it develop. 
so this tree has been through it a little bit but here he is and I'm hoping that he is going to thrive here now the most sort of sun that you can give trees like this the better it will encourage good fruiting it will encourage good strong growth and that sort of thing so you know south facing location is great or the sunniest place that you can possibly put it so I'll just uh, go back here so there we go the backyard orchard consists at the moment of two trees this one here is a stellar cherry minaret which I will go into at a later date and we're going to be having another fruit tree of some sort over here probably going to put an apple here <clears throat> apple tree just there something like that not sure what variety I'm going to get I'm researching this I do want to get a plum tree here as well but uh, I would like a decent sized apple tree and I'm thinking if I have an apple tree here, I can probably get away with one on an MM106 rootstock, which will create a decent sized tree. But these are all things to consider for the future. So there we go. The backyard orchard's coming on. All the best and speak soon.